Welcome, today we're doing a deep red lip inspired by Kate Bosworth's red carpet look. My name is Katie James, I'm a makeup artist here in New York City, and my model today is Caitlin, she'll be helping me out. So I've primed the eye with a nice primer so everything will stay on really nicely. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of shadow. The eyes aren't the focus on this look, so we're just gonna keep everything really, really soft on the rest of the face. So I'm going in with a kind of pinky beige color on the eyelid. So you can just take a nice fluffy brush, Dip that into your beige, and then you just put that all over the eyelid. This just gives a nice base, but again, we're not having it be the focus on the eye, so you just need something to make it look clean and smooth. So then for just a little bit of glow on the eyelid, I'm gonna do a sheer gold right over what we did. So it's, it's just gonna be a tiny bit of glow, but it's not anything over the top. And then just do a really sheer layer of that gold on top. And all we're doing again, we just want a clean look on the eyes but this will make the skin tone come out a little bit more as well. And the primer that I used on her face before this had a little bit of glow in it too, so we're kind of going for that look on the rest of the face, just very subtle but glowing skin. So now I'm going to go in and line the eye with a soft charcoal eyeliner. We just want it on the top eyelid and we want it just very, very soft. We want to give a little definition so that the eyes pop, but we don't want it to be the focus. So you can just take a brush um, with a flat edge, either an angle brush or something that's like a square tip and just go right into your cream eyeliner. So we're going right on the lash line. You don't want too much. You just kind of want to fill in the lash line there so that she has some definition on the eyelid. It's kind of a nod to that retro um, liquid liner look, but it's a lot softer. This whole look kind of has a little bit of a retro feel to it, like a 1940s feel, but it's a little softer, not as defined. So then we're gonna go in with a little bit of mascara, always my favorite part of any eye look. Um, I'm gonna use a black, just very softly, not too much. Start right at the roots and wiggle your way up. And just make sure you get all the little lashes on the inside. And again, we're going very softly. We want the lashes to look really um, healthy and full, but not clumpy. And the bottom, I'm just tapping really lightly, only on the outer corner of the eye. We don't want too much makeup underneath the eye. So now I'm going in with the blush. I'm going to use kind of a peachy shade. Um, NARS Orgasm is a real classic. Uh, almost everyone has that in their makeup bag, so it's a nice one to just give a nice glow to the skin, but not too much color. So I'm using a pretty big brush that's going to give a nice soft application to it. You can kind of pinch the bristles together so that you can get a little bit of definition on the cheekbones if you like. Just getting a nice coating. You always want to tap it off so you don't have too much. And then you're finding where her cheekbones are. You're just tapping that on. And that kind of buffs it into the skin, gives her a really beautiful glow. We don't want too much color on the rest of the face. It kind of gives that nice retro look of that um, fair skin with the really deep look on the lips. You can always layer it. That's what I usually do. I'll do really light and then kind of build on top of it rather than having too much color at once. And you can just bring it up onto the temples and along the jawline as well. So now we can start on the fun part, the lips. So we're going to line the lips with just a very nude uh, liner just to give a nice outline of where you want it to go. I do this anytime I do a dark lipstick, taking the side of the pencil and then just following the line. And that gives you a really soft line. You don't have to worry about kind of drawing on the lip. It's just to give you a nice outline. So I'm starting in with a very deep red. This has a nice blue undertone. Um, it's gonna flatter your skin tone really nicely. You can kind of adjust the undertone of the lip that you want, but you do want that really kind of deep crimson color. So I'm starting from the middle and kind of just tap it and then blend it out. This is a great color from uh, Too Faced. It's called Drop Dead Red. It's pretty flattering on most skin tones for that kind of deep crimson red. And then go in on the top. And I almost think about it as like filling in rather than just painting it onto the lip. Especially with these dark colors, it can be tricky to, to not put too much color on at once. So you can take your time with it and get that look that you want. And then once I have it filled in like I like, I usually will just go in right in the center of the lip and just do a little bit extra and then I'll kind of pop that color a little more. So now for our finishing touch, we're gonna to do a little bit of a deep gloss right in the center and then just have that blend out on top of the lip and that'll give it that really nice deep crimson look and also a little bit of shine. So this is a deep kind of chocolate brown gloss, it's sheer. I'm taking with the same brush, just a little bit of that gloss. And then you put that right in the center of the lip and blend it out. And I like these sheer glosses because they kind of take the color of whatever is underneath it, but it still kind of projects its own color on top as well. I guess 
we're just gonna fill our eyebrows in a little bit. It gives that kind of classic 1940s look. Um, nothing too dark, but we wanna go one shade darker than our hair color and just blend it out really nicely. So I'm gonna go with a nice kind of taupe eyeshadow. This adds a nice frame to the face. Um, you can do this, that's uh, your last step, just so you can see how much color you need to add right up on the top here. So here we have our completed Kate Bosworth red carpet inspired deep red lip. So now we're gonna do a quick recap. So we just did a really light sweep of a taupe eyeshadow with a little bit of a pink uh, base to it. And then we did a nice sheer gold shadow on top of that. This just gives a really soft base to the eye. We took a cream liner on a brush with a soft edge and then we just brushed that right along the lash line. That was a charcoal color, a little bit softer than a black. Then we did a coat of mascara on the top lid, and then we did just a little bit on the bottom lid with the, just the outside of the eye. Then we did a nice uh, peachy blush with a little bit of gold undertone to it. We did our deep crimson lip with a little bit of a dark brown gloss on top that just popped that crimson color. And then we filled the brows in softly with a light brown eyeshadow. So this is our completed Kate Bosworth red carpet inspired look. Uh, I'd like to thank Caitlin for joining me today. She's been fantastic. Uh, my name's Katie James. You can see more of my work at katiejames.com. Thanks so much for joining us.